to the gang stalking uh, program, secret police program, in my opinion, is where they overjump the shark. This is big. I see it for what it really is, see? I'm not like other TIs that are... See, I got a lot of family. I got a few friends, but they're really good friends. And that's why I'm able to have a, probably a little bit more of a break to have thought this over already. And I believe this shows criminal intent. And I also believe that this can ha be happening on such a massive scale across the entire United States unless it was actually signed off by possibly the president or someone really high up. And that's why I get excited because this is big. This can actually finally show criminal intent. We can show criminal intent to the entire America. See, a lot of stuff they, they can argue, like fluoride, they have a, you know, it's bad for you. They put it in our drinking water now. Uh, the Nazis used it in concentration camps to have the Jewish people get weak and be more docile, more manageable, more controllable. And there's all these different arguments because you have scientists that sold out, doctors that sold out. And they'll say, well, fluoride is good for you. Chemtrails are good for you. Global warming is, is true. All these lies, we can always combat it with a scientist. Gang stalking, in my opinion, is the only program that these criminals have done that shows criminal intent. Real, actual criminal intent. And that, my friend, will show that this government's being ran by criminals in turn, waking up America once and for all, waking up the military, the good people, 70-80% of the military are really good folks, just regular folks, you know, you just want to be married and have a pizza and watch a movie and chill and protect America. It's only a small percentage that are thugs. And they can, they can do a Broadway play. They can bring in like 100 gang stalkers and make you think everybody's in on it. Everybody's against you. But it's a Broadway play. Let me tell you. It's to make you think there's no hope. No one's going to believe you. There's no way to stop it. But that is smoke and mirror, my friends. Like a magician would use smoke and mirrors. And if we organize and do this legally and peacefully and reach all of America, we can show that this government is being ran by criminals. In turn, we can change the playing field. We can have a lot of these criminals be prosecuted. A lot of them are going to be hanging. The, the law is pretty clear. If you're doing treason against the American people, you're supposed to hang until you're dead. Um, plus, we'll get our settlements for what they did to us. It's not going to ever, you're never going to get back what they stole, but you'll be able to have protection. You'll be able to uh, get reimbursed financially for your um, financial loss and also for the years you'll never get back and for um, your handicap because a lot of us have been physically injured by this permanently. I got fibromyalgia now because of the microwave weapons they were shooting me with in the, in the 90s. You know, by 98, 99, I could hardly walk. And I have to be under, you know, on some, some hardcore medication just so I can function like a human being now. So I, I believe gang stalking, from what, from what I've researched, out of all the different conspiracies, is the big kahuna. And I also believe that's why Alex Jones doesn't talk about it. I think he's a shill. They know that this one would bring it down. This, this shows criminal intent. Unlike everything else, they can, they can say, oh, global warming is, you know, that's criminal intent, all of it's criminal, but on those, they can bring in scientists that are sold out, doctors that are sold out, and they can pl play a chess game with you, and gang stalking is pretty much cut and dry, all we have to do is prove it, and all we gotta do is prove a few cases, and then say it's meant to be undetected, so of course it's gonna be hard to prove, that's that's part of the, the argument, I'm telling you, America will never put up with that crap. 
and it's good for us victims and I'm willing to be creative and help out any way I can. I'm, I'm willing to teach everybody how to reach the public. Um, I can demonstrate. It's we, we can do this. We can beat them if we stick together and don't give up. If you take a break from it, you don't want to take too long of a break because you'll get comfortable. Remember what they did to you. And do it, do it for what's right. You do it because it's right. It's the right thing to do. Because they want to, they want to roll this out on everybody. And let me tell you something. When they roll this out on everybody, it's going to be ten times darker than what you and me are seeing. This is nothing. The reason it's not that dark... I mean, they try to murder me. How, how much darker does it get than murder? But I'm trying to tell you guys. If this rolls out on everybody and it becomes a law, they're going to do whatever they want to do. You got a two-year-old kid, they can drag your two-year-old kid out of your house and rape him in the fucking street. And there ain't shit you're going to do about it. So you better think smart. You better think wise. Going to the public, reaching the public, is actually going to save lives. Many lives. Be careful for co They'll pretend they're TIs and, you know, and they're just paid actors. Man, to disrupt the movement. Let's get a movement going. Let's do it, TIs. Don't be afraid. 